How's it going guys? Welcome to Not Alex Lee and today I'll be reviewing my NZXT Starter PC Plus that I bought approximately a month up to a month and a half ago. Um, I've had this PC and I've been playing games such as Overwatch, Fortnite, and a bunch of other random FPS, Call of Duty Warzone, and a bunch of other games like that. And today I'll be reviewing my thoughts on the PC and my pros and cons on why I bought this PC over building one myself. So here's my PC. I got the white case. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have the description of what the case is called on the screen right now. Um, and this is what's inside the PC. So I have 16 gigs of RAM. I have a fan right here, no liquid cooling. Uh, 1660 Ti graphics card. Um, and on the top, it comes with the 3.5 millimeter jack for your headphones, a USB-C and a, a regular USB. This is the power button to turn on the case. And here's what it looks like on the back of the PC. It is a little hard to get back here because of how long my desk is. Um, but it does have some more USB ports on the back. All of this will also be on their website. Um, there, it does have Ethernet, but I also got the Wi-Fi capability, um, which I would connect the antennas in down here. HDMI, uh, the DVI, and the older connection. I'm not too sure what it's called. Overall with this PC, I've had zero issues with setting up any type of connectivity issues, any type of running issues of the computer itself, no overheating, no games crashing, nothing. Um, I spent a roughly $1,100 for the starter PC Plus. The other PC starts at around $900, but with shipping, shipping was $60 for me to come to my house. Um, so that would be roughly around 1000 where I paid 1100 um, I definitely think it's worth the extra $100 jump to get to the Plus because it has an updated graphics card and upgraded storage, which is very important when you're playing a lot of video games and especially if you want to stream. Now currently I have a one PC setup where I stream and play games at the same time where I can currently run 720p at 48 frames per second, which isn't too bad. Um, without the PC even getting close to overheating or getting too hot or skipping frames or anything like that. Um, now I am running off of a, a Wi-Fi router extender, um, so that doesn't really help my connection as well, but if you do have a hardwired connection straight from the router to your PC, you should be fine. Now the games I've been running, Fortnite like I said, Call of Duty, and Overwatch are typically like the three big games that people are going to be running and I've had no issues whatsoever. Um, it has been really nice being able to play all these games at such a high rate and I'm running at max graphics on all of them, um, which has been really cool. Sea of Thieves I've been running and I can run at the highest setting. Fortnite I can run at the highest setting. Um, so it's been really cool to be able to do all that and have no lag skips. And I've even been able to stream at that high of a setting with no buffering or anything like that. Um, so the PC has been holding up very well. The pros about getting a PC like this um, is it's sent to you already built and ready to go. You plug it in, there's a, a four step guide that comes with the PC in the box um, and you basically plug it in to follow those four steps and you're good to go. PC has to update um, on Windows, it'll update I'm sure, and a few of the apps will have to update, but other than that, I mean, you're ready to go. Another pro is you don't have to worry about, um, I don't know for me, I'm not an avid PC builder, I know nothing about PC parts or anything like that, but I just wanted to kind of get my feet wet in PC gaming. Um, so $1,000 is pretty expensive, but I figured if I was going to at least start in there, I would get a computer I know would be reliable. So that's why I chose NZXT, and I don't have to worry about the parts. It told me what was going to be in it. I asked some of my friends that had PCs, and they said for the price, I mean, it was worth what it was. And, you know, it's nothing too special, but it's good enough to run, obviously, all these games that I play at max settings, which is fine by me. I noticed that there wasn't really a lot of videos of people explaining, you know, why they got it. Uh, a lot of people were just saying they got a PC and blah, 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 blah. But I just wanted to tell you guys that um, I personally vouch for NZXT in terms of my satisfaction with this product. So if you are someone who is looking into getting a PC and you're just not too sure about why uh, or about like buying a pre-built or getting a uh, standard um, like or making building it yourself, I definitely think that this would be a good choice for those who are not comfortable building their own PC or even like what parts are about. Now, with that being said, um, it is important to know that there are many options on their website. They have the starter PC, start PC Plus, they have a streaming PC. I believe the streaming PC is, I think, $3,000. Now, I'm sure that that's so you can play and stream in a high quality, but like I said before, with this PC, I've been able to stream and 
play games at max graphics uh, and be fine at 720p, which is, you know, on a computer, you really can't tell the difference um, in terms of on your phone screen and on a computer, not at full screen. So yeah, that's my review of the NZXT. I, one, or I would say, you know, 10 out of 10 would recommend for other, other people who are not very sure about what PC to get. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here and make a quick video to let you guys know about my personal experience with NZXT and the specific model of PC that I got. Um, I do recommend, again, like I said, spending that extra $100 to get the plus where you get updated graphics and more storage. Because like I said, I mean, some of these games, you know, are, are very large. Call of Duty is a huge game. So having that extra storage is good, especially if you are planning on making YouTube videos or streaming where you can save your clips and put them in uh, storage. And, you know, videos are quite large on the storage side. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend the $100 to get that terabyte of storage. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for coming by, checking out my channel. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. I'll have my social media down below if you guys feel like you want to follow me. And I do stream on Twitch uh, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys so much, and peace out.